Hello, my name is Orhun and today I'm going to show you how to analyze binaries on Linux with a tool called Binsider. This is a tool that I created using Rust and a library called Ratatouille, which I also maintain. And this tool runs entirely in the terminal, so you don't have to leave the terminal for your reverse engineering adventures. Um, this tool also supports a wide variety of features such as xdump, static analysis, um, what else? Dynamic analysis and so on. So this is kind of like a combination of many, many other Linux utilities such as strace, ldd and so on. So um, I'm going to give you an example of how to use this tool in a real world use case. So we're going to take a look at an example binary and see how we can discover some interesting stuff in this binary. So let's uh, jump right into it. First of all, this tool is open source, so you can get the source from GitHub. Also, you can contribute if you like the features or if you are missing something, just let me know. I can work on implementing it. And um, the easiest way of getting started is to install Binsider using Cargo. Um, if you have Rust installed, you will have Cargo installed as well. So just run Cargo install Binsider and you'll uh, get this tool ready to use and then um, you can also check out the documentation for more information and like more detailed info for example if you go to uh, the general analysis section you'll get an idea of what the UI layout is like and what these what these stuff mean basically so uh, definitely check out documentation if you want to learn more about the tool and also learn how this works and just let me know if you have any feedback. Okay, so without further ado, uh, let's jump right into it. I have a binary here uh, called sus. This is a suspicious binary. And um, without executing it, we can gather some information from this binary using Binsider. And like I said, this is a terminal UI tool. So this will all happen in the terminal. So. All you gotta do is actually just give the name of the file to Binsider and press enter. And this is the main layout, the main menu, so to speak. In this menu, you can get some uh, basic information such as file size, uh, how many blocks does this file have, and the access information, and so on. Also, the dates, the modif modification date, and the access date, and so on. So these are pretty basic information that you can get. This is this is kind of similar to the output of stat command on Linux. And also uh, something interesting here is that you can get a list of linked libraries. So for example, this uh, binary uh, has these uh, SO files, uh, shared object files linked. And one of them is actually Kind of suspicious and you can just tell it by its name it's it's literally called lib malicious so um, we can also get this uh, information from this um, main menu um, and one other cool thing is if you want to uh, analyze these linked libraries you can also just press enter for example i have this lib malicious thing selected if i press enter i will just go into the lib malicious now so I can simply um, traverse the, the entire linked uh, link link share, shared wait, linked link libraries tree so that's how it works uh, if I press backspace I'll just go back to the sus library sorry sus binary and um, you can get like some information such as the file headers inside this binary so in Linux, these binary formats are called ELF and ELF has different layouts and different like, sorry, dif uh, it has different sections in, in the layout and it has different segments and so on. So from this, uh, from this menu, you can get those information pretty much. You can um, take a look at the symbols linked uh, dynamic symbols, relocations, and so on. For example, you can basically see that the name of the source file is main.c. 
from this symbols uh, table and also uh, you can get the uh, the debug symbols and so on and um, if you want to take a look at some general information about the elf uh, layout and the headers you can see that there are some um, there's some information there like the type the architecture and so on and also you can see the nodes in this um, binary okay um, this dynamic tab um, basically means that we want to execute this binary and get the information but I don't want to execute it now um, I'm just gonna skip it for now and uh, show you something else uh, you can get the strings in this library uh, in this or, or binary uh, pretty much you can see like what what uh, what what kind of strings does this thing contain you can change the minimum length uh, for the strings so basically happens on the fly what uh, so what kind of information we can get from this is actually um, you know you can get the names of uh, or maybe you can like like discover very interesting things in this uh, for example, if you go into libmalicious and search for strings, uh, there there are some interesting stuff like you know you have been hacked or your password is blah 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 and so on. So um, the strings are very useful if you want to like discover this type of information. Of course, I knew this before uh, because you know I prepared this binary. But um, yeah, if you go back. Actually, um, I'm, I'm just going to continue on lib malicious. All right, um, the same applies here. And then, yeah, you can see the strings. And you can also get the hex dump of this uh, binary or library. You can um, take a look at the hex representation. You can go to a specific byte. It's pretty much works like a hex editor. So you can just use this to see what's in the X layout and also you can modify things so if you want to like if, if it let's let's try to search for something uh, let's um, let's change this uh, this string right so you can just you know start typing and it will it will just override that section and if you press ctrl s sorry just s it will just save this file um, I'm not gonna save it for now because it's kind of pointless uh, but you can um, run this on a binary that you want to modify and you can go to the hex dump section edit something and press s to save and that's how it works basically for the dynamic uh, dynamic analysis I want to actually run oh got an error there uh, it, it's it's not released yet so I get some bugs to fix but don't worry about it there won't be like zero bugs there, there will be zero bugs yeah there will be zero bugs when you use this um, if there are any bugs just let me know but anyways um, let's let's take a look at the LS um, you don't have to give the full path uh, it will automatically resolve to the path if it exists uh, so it will if you just give it like LS it will find that you know it's it's user slash bin LS so we're just gonna use that uh, here um, if you go to dynamic section, um, this is kind of dangerous. You know, you don't want to run a binary without knowing what it's doing. So that's why I put this confirmation label there. So you need to press enter to run the executable. And when, when I press enter, I'll get the system calls that, are, that happened when I run this binary. I can um, take a look here and discover actually some interesting stuff for example it accessed this slash us um, and um, it get it got some random stuff and some stuff happened so I can also search for uh, the calls such as you know if I search for write to see what it what this is writing you can see that and so on and when you press enter you'll get a pretty nice summary of what this uh, thing is doing um, Actually, this is not yeah, let's I have this okay 
So you can see that it run, uh, it is using uh, mmap call uh, most of the time. And also it's doing some other stuff as well. You can get this summary to see what what has happened in the in the you know during the lifetime of this of the execution. So yeah, um, for example, PRCTL errored out four times, and there were just six six times of you know of this happening, and so on. So that's pretty much it. Um, to wrap it up, I would say you can pretty much get an idea of of the file contents you can run this uh, run a file get an idea of the behavior of the file um, you can find out some interesting stuff in the strings and you can use hex dump as a you know hex dump basically and all of this happens in the terminal and it's interactive very easy easy to use um, the key bindings are Pretty much very simple you know the the whim whim like key bindings are everywhere so um, you won't have any trouble getting used to it and that's pretty much it if you have any you know at some point in the future if you want to like analyze any binary just keep in mind that the insider might be helpful there because it's basically designed to give you a this army knife to analyze binaries and help you reverse engineer stuff so yeah just let me know what you think and um stay safe take care stop recording